What if I told you this dog was not malnourished and that visible ribs and protruding bones are part of the breed's standard? This rare dog breed is called an Azawak, and although they look like someone shrink-wrapped a whippet, they're a very interesting breed. To find out more, let's go back in time. Today we're traveling to Northwest Africa, specifically the Sahelian region of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. Here we find the ancient and nomadic tribe of the Tuareg people, and they needed a dog that could survive this harsh climate. Enter the Azawak, a perfectly adapted creature for the desert. They can run up to 40 miles an hour, and just like Gwyneth Paltrow can get all their nutrients from breathing air. I'm obviously kidding, but I'm still shocked that breathinarians are a thing. Despite their looks, Azawaks are extremely hardy and were used to help with farming, hunting, and protecting, and they were considered valued members of a Tuareg's family. In 1970, a Yugoslavian diplomat named Dr. Picar was the first person to bring an Azawak out of Africa, and by the 1980s they had spread to the U.S., and it wasn't until 2011 that they were accepted into the AKC. So what are they like as dogs? They're described as being an uncanny mix of independence and loyalty. They're also medium-sized, up to 55 pounds. They need a lot of exercise, but are said to be great family